Hello everybody. Today I'm going to be starting a series of videos regarding different operating systems that you can put on the Raspberry Pi. I'm going to kick this off with RetroPie. It's probably the most popular third-party operating system to put on Raspberry. I think a lot of people actually buy Raspberries specifically for RetroPie as well. So let's start with talking a little bit about what RetroPie is. RetroPie is um, an emulation station. You can have a ton of different emulators built into RetroPie. It supports just about every gaming console prior to PS2. You can do PS2, Wii, GameCube, but not on Raspberry Pi. It's not powerful enough. You can also put it on Odroid. I think those platforms may work on Odroid, but it's a very long list. That's just everything that's on the RetroPie website here. Very long list. So let's get started. The first thing we want to do is go to the Downloads tab here, and then you can donate if you'd like to support the project. It's completely free, though, and we're going to choose which image we want to download. We can do Raspberry Pi 0 or 1. We can do 2 or 3. I'm using a 3B today, so this is the image that I've downloaded. There are directions right here if you'd like to follow along with how to install RetroPie, but I'll be showing you all the steps here very shortly. After it's downloaded, we want to make sure that we have the software Etcher installed. This is very easy software to use. It's completely free. It's going to flash that image onto your SD card so that we can install it and start gaming. Now, I've already downloaded everything. I've got my SD card already inserted. So let's go over here to Etcher. It already recognizes my 32 gig SD card. We're going to select our image. I'm just going to type it in down here. There's our image. Open and flash. Go. And it's going to take a little bit to flash the image to the card. So I'll just speed up the image here and we'll be back when it's done. All right, now that it's all set up and ready to go, I've attached it to an HDMI cable, a battery pack, plugged in the SD card, and I have a wireless keyboard and mouse hooked up. The first time it boots up, it does take a minute here. We'll just wait for it to load and we'll get everything set up. Okay, after it's done booting, this is going to be the first screen that we see. There are no game pads connected, but there are many different USB devices you can get that will work with the Raspberry Pi and RetroPie. You can also get adapters for PlayStation controllers, Xbox controllers, even USB versions of the original game pads for Super Nintendo, regular Nintendo, you name it, it's all available. So let's, let's get this started here. We're gonna start by setting up the keyboard. So we wanna do up, down, left, right. I'll use enter and right shift. And then for A, we'll just do A, Z, um, S, X, and maybe a Q and a W. I'm not going to be using any of these. This is going to be the landing screen when it boots up. All right, so the first thing we want to do is go down here to Wi-Fi. Connect to Wi-Fi. There's the network, type in the password. Give it a second to connect here. There it goes. All right, now let's head back over to the computer and we'll put some games on it. All right, so I've connected to the Raspberry Pi via uh, FTP. We've just used the 
um, host name here, 192.168.1.4. You can find that on your device. It'll be different than mine. And then the default username and password. Username is pi, password is raspberry. This is the screen that comes up after you get logged in. We're going to navigate to the folder here, RetroPy, and then we're going to go into the ROMs folder. ROM is the type of file that contains the game. I'm not going to go into detail as to where to find those games. There's been questions on whether or not it's legal. I don't want that associated with my channel. But you can find ROMs. They're still available. Not hard to find. Use Google. Google is your friend. All you have to do is type in the name of the system and ROMs. Not hard to do. I've downloaded a bunch of Atari 2600 games, so I'm going to go into the Atari 2600 folder. And then we're just going to move those games from my downloads folder over here. I need to unzip that. One moment. So all I need to do is come over here to my games. These bin files here are actually the ROMs. I want Pac-Man. So we're going to drag Pac-Man over to the Raspberry Pi, and that's it. Could put all of these in here. Not going to do that today. But let's head back over to the Raspberry Pi, and I'm going to reboot it so you can see the screen after there's a game on there. All right, so we're booted up. You can see that Atari is available. We can use the arrow keys, go over here for RetroPie configuration. But if you've got other systems on here, other games for other systems, it will just show a list of the system. And then once you go into it, it'll show the games. There's the Pac-Man that I installed. So let's press A and it should load Pac-Man. Here we go. Atari 2600 Pac-Man on my 1080p TV. Nothing wrong with that, right? Whoops. That's all, folks. So it's not hard to do. You can install thousands of games. This is a 32 gig SD card. You can fill that thing up all day. Um, this game was just a couple kilobytes. I need to quit playing. I'm going to keep dying here. But that's all I got for today, guys. Um, you can do a lot of different things with the Raspberry Pi. I've got a website, thinkingofpi.com. You can see all the different things. You can configure the GPIO. Um, with your own controllers, not hard to do. I got a lot of tutorials on my website. You can subscribe to the YouTube channel. I got videos on how to do all that. So I'll be back with more videos with other operating systems. Um, so make sure you subscribe. You don't want to miss it. And I'll talk to you guys next time. Thanks.